saving darn turn off the power. Progress has been saved. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. Thousand Year Door. Last time we had a very close call against Lord Crump. And this time. Ah, you blow that damn Lord Crump. You sickened me. Uh, look, I'm sorry, seriously. I thought we. We had the guy. Guy cornered, but. Stop talking, Lord Crump. Just. You standing by until. Just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump. I think uh, think of this as your last chance, understood? Roger that. Now then leave. Hey, you there. What is it, sir? Tell the Shadow Science to attack Mario again and tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. I have one crystal star in my hands, and Mario has five. Time to take some measures. New camera angle. Tech, you call me here again? I wonder what it is this time. Tech? Does that noise you? What's, what's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Gordis' room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data in the net on the network, I'm unable to access the data that are of computers that are not linked to the network. So Gardas has informed if if has information that even I'm unable to view. But I must know I must know that information. And how will I get there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Gardas can enter his room. While Gr this is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that prevent no entry. But there is a way. You'll be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you, do not I do not want you to do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no but now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind tech really. Ask me anything. I'll first leave the room and take the elevator up as you did earlier, as you did. I don't think this is actually a Metal Gear section. Because Metal... Thankfully, because those sections are... Those in non-stealth games are absolutely fucking horrid. First go in the opposite direction of Sir Gordon's room. Exit elevator. The room with the green lamp. And enter the lid above. Now you'll have to con- I just can't get past this. Get off with an ear rating, I swear to Arceus. Oh, I know this part. I'm a- Ah, oh, Yeah, I know this part. I remember it. Vaguely. I don't really know what I have to do, but... There is a lot of combinations you can do, and they all, all equal different results. You cannot get a game over here, thankfully, but... Yeah. Now you can talk to potion that makes you transparent. You mean a potion that makes me invisible? Yes. You'll enter Sir Grotus's room by becoming completely invisible. Wow, okay. Uh, how do I make it? 
You must first set all of the potions on the desk in the con concoctor at it's that machine in the back. But even I don't know which potions set where. There should be a memo's last in this room by the Xnot researchers. Please use them as reference and set the potions in the machines. No, please do not put the right. Okay. Do, do, do opening notepad. Uh. Red. Not equal. Far. Right. I'm using it in like programming, like, I, like, this is how my brain works. And not my notepad document. No, place the blue potion. So, blue next to red. Place two, two potions between between green and red. Green plus two from red. That's all the hints we get. Okay. Okay, no. Okay. So, green has to go here. Be but red has to go here. I mix up my lefts and rights a lot. Uh, red has to go there because green has to go two potions away from red. Uh, I recommend trying this section, just trying random combinations, because there are quite a lot of different effects that can be done. Orange has to go there. Because blue has to go right here. Are you sure you place some... Your, their place to your liking. Very well. Then please cue the button on the lower control panel located on the left side of the room. Please press the button where the beaker stops to dispense the, each potion. Not on a time limit to press the buttons. In I will heat the potion in the beaker for for 30 seconds. Press the button at exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts to stop the machine. Fuck! No! No! Ooh. This part aside, this is why I paused recording shortly. It's 
30 seconds. I have a timer. Jeez, you forget how long 30 seconds is when you don't when you haven't played half many here over a while or by about or about a 30 second timer up. I think there is some like lenience. By my calculation, it should be finished, but did it come out correctly, do you think? Yes. Very good. Then please drink it. Drink all of it, if you please. Ah, what? Drink this. Is it safe? It smells really funky. Please, you must drink it. I guess I did continue recording. Well done. You definitely made yourself transparent. Congratulations. Again. I'll, I'll say this again. How the fuck did this get pat this get an E rating? But uh you must ask you to take off your dress, however. Even the potion cannot make your dress in the dress in video. What? That's indecent! No way. Oh fine, I guess. This is the only way. When you go into the to Sir Gordis's room, first locate the disc with the recorded data. Then insert that disc into a pers the personal computer and connect it. Connect to the network. When you're finished with that, please come back to this room. I'll teach you how to make yourself normal again. Great. This kind of a complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now, g please go to Sword Jordan's room. Oh, there is actually a note here. Now, place the orange between blue and green. I figured that out purely by process of elimination. Huh? Okay, that was creepy. Why does the door open even open when there's no one there? Here, a malfunction, or am I just totally losing it here? I. T the two thousands, the early two thousands was is a is weird. Yeah, their like of thousands is a we was a weird. This must be the room where now who's that data disc? I know it's those set of lights. I thought those set of lights were uh. <laughs> Found it. This must be here. Got the data disc. Disc for Gordis from Gordis' room. What kind of data is on it? It's a floppy draw disk. Not the save icon. It's a floppy disk. No, a very old format. That, you know, think or because we have uh, flash storage because th these were, are not great. Very low capacity compared to modern flash. Flash media. Hell, worse than modern SSDs. Ah, yeah, now I insert that into here and connect it to the network. Okay. 
A ton just came out because the internet wasn't exactly all that prevalent. This might not have made sense to, uh, to the a Western audience, aka like Europe and uh, America. Um, but this is a reference to the Famicom dis disc system that Japan only peripheral for the Famicom home computer. Even though the Famicom wasn't really a computer in the modern sense. And it's not like you can do spreadsheets on the... Oh, it's probably the game that allows you to do spreadsheets on the Famicom. But that would not surprise me. Yes! I did it! Yes! It's working! Looks like it's all done. Better put this, this back where I got it. Here. Like I never was here. Indecency! Thankfully, this is a magical permanent invisibility potion. Despite recording at like 60 frames a second, this we're going at 30 frames because of bullshit. Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desire. Oh, that's right. Well, I'm glad. Now I'll teach you how to become visible again. It's quite simple, actually. Really drink the green potion, you'll know, revert to normal instantaneously. Okay, just hang on one minute. With, with modern Nintendo, I'm like shocked that this game is getting remaxed made. There is so much here that modern in a modern Nintendo so just probably wouldn't let slide. But, uh, well, obviously I'm wrong about that. Pretty wrong about that, but considering, um, DTYD remakes is com remake is coming out sometime this year. I think it's like April something. A in April. Uh, I probably like to get this let's play out before the, uh, this entire let's play out before then. See, I'm going to play Potion Night. I don't really. I was kind of worried I might never become visible again. There's never any, any danger of that. Now, please return to the computer room. Why is this the peace intermissions are the only one that gets courtesy of teleporting you? By the way, Tech, you said... Thought it took, what was that data? I'm still analyzing this. This data is very heavily encrypted. But my if my prediction is correct... If it's correct, what? No, I, I can't afford to make any make any mistakes or assumptions. Let you know when the uh, analysis is complete. Now, please use the communicator if you please, wish. Okay. Well, can you tell me when you decipher that data, huh? Good. And I'll use the, that computer room. Communicator. I've written my message. Wait, can you send it? Your message has been sent. 
My is as a play, play game with, with shoddy translation. I'm going to not have a good time because I, I already struggle with English. Play with Battle Network 4. I, I don't actually plan to play any of the Hell of Work games on my channel. Anytime soon, anyways. We're done for now. Let's go back to the room. Okay, take care, attack. Thank you, Princess Peach. You're welcome, Tech. Princess Peach, I will protect you. That took 20 minutes. No, because Bowser intermissions don't take that long. Comparatively. What is this place? Why is it the light so weird? It's here, it's spooking me out. The light's on, because this is Twilight Town, my lord. Should be treasure here. Let's put that screw into one of those creepy things and find the crystal star. That's good to me, Hagley. Haggy. Let's go for it. Oh man, boy, she well am. Said she lost her super bo bomb. Ba bomb somewhere around here. This thing's really. This whole deal is extremely bad, bad, bad. Gotta cowboy up and make some serious comebacks, or else. Bam! Got it! I'm the man! Here, now I can crush Mario and get the crystal star in one fell swoop. Hot diggy dog! <laughs> Luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me. Wow, a reference to a gun in a Mario game. That isn't the super scope. Dick. Also, grenade! I didn't mention it, the chapter we. We. Ha. It was in shown, but like. A, a grenade! Huh. Honestly, it's a miracle that T2 ID is getting remixed. Remade. But. Now the real question is it's going to is it going to be like uh Super Mario RPG where it's pretty much the same game but with some extra post game content and uh other shit you know loose script rewriting but it's mostly based on the original script. The original Japanese script. You know, hence Clay Morton. Instead of Mac. For the first boss. In a Super Mario RPG. Or is it going to be like the BDSP remake? Make and it barely changes anything. And it's the worst version of the game. Uh, I hope it's going to be more like the Mario RPG Remix, considering it is a Nintendo remake and not a Game Freak remake. Ah. Uh. <sighs> but I will say, like, the theme... The remake theme for Rogue Part is it's, it's a bit much compared to the like it's just a bit much for the area. It's 
It's not a bad song, but it doesn't fit sleazy, crime-ridden, hub-town, and more of an overworld map theme. Anyways, <laughs> what luck of the moon, I s oh yeah, I already read this. You dare, suspicious guy. You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? What? Somebody there? Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? You're looking for the crystal stars too? Sweet. It's... This will help... Help the crump come back. Now then, uh... Let me get to it. You're telling me... You'll, you'll be telling me everything you know now. Actually, you're the one who's going to spill... Every bit of information out of your big old ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Whoa, there, big guy. I, I mean, no, wait. I, I am. What am I afraid of? You? <laughs> if you think you can take me, think you can take me? Then try it, chubby. All troops. Report! What a... Yeah. Like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like taking... Yet? Mishihi, <laughs> you dare scoff at us. Come back and form up! Whoa, what a play. Mishihi. <laughs> So are you gonna be a tough guy? Oh, I gotta laugh. This is why I keep one of these around. Sorry, suckers. Eat this turtle dark super bomb bomb. Incoming! Eh? Yeah. Oh, that was your big weapon. It didn't even go off. You didn't even pull the pin. I like. How... This is how you do it, amateur. Watch and learn! Return to sender! They're all idiots. Until next time.